As a technicality, this only works if the benzylic carbon has at least one hydrogen. The benzylic carbon has to have at least one hydrogen. Benzylic carbon, so that was not a that was not a purposeful trick. That was an accidental trick. All right, but uh, remember that this is only working because the benzylic carbon is so reactive. Yeah. So who, who's going to react on the top or on the bottom? Top bottom. Which one? Top bottom. Bottom. And what's going to happen on the bottom? That's right. And notice that all these other carbons just got cleaved off. All the other carbons just got cleaved off. And what happens on the top? It stays the same. Nothing, because it doesn't have any carbon-hydrogen bonds. Uh, it's just something that we have to memorize, that the benzylic carbon can only be oxidized here if it has at least one hydrogen. More than one hydrogen is fine. Notice that this has one hidden hydrogen, so that was enough. That's something, that is something that uh, instructors like to test sometimes. They like to put in multiple functional groups and see if you know which ones are going to be carboxylated and which ones aren't. So when would you use this reaction for a synthesis? Well, first of all, if you're trying to make a benzylic carboxylic acid, but also you should think about it if you need to cleave carbon-carbon bonds. Or also, like, if you need to just get rid of that whole bottom thing, can't you do that and then decarboxylate? Could you? Why not? What do we need to do a decarboxylation? Oh, a beta... Carbonyl. All right, so that was good thinking. That was good thinking, but remember, we can only do decarboxylations on beta carbonyl carboxylic acids. So yeah, uh, there is no easy way to decarboxylate this over here. All right, like I said, I think you guys have made a lot of good progress on this material. So you just want to make sure that you really uh, just memorize the reagents for all the different steps because you uh, you definitely would deserve to get a lot of the points on this material as long as you just have the reagents memorized. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you.